Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope you've had a fantastic day so far, and tonight is an art stream. I'm just going to keep working on the hands, hopefully I'll be able to slap something together, and hopefully it'll look decent. I wouldn't hold my breath, but... Yeah. Let's see how it goes, I guess. I've kind of got some semblance of a hand going on over here, so let's just fill this in. And I'll just casually do this, I guess, as the stream just starts up, I guess. All right. So I'm just gonna draw like a halfway line here. So that's the wrist there. That is the hand there. And then we've got some more something here. That should be the same length as that, and I think the rest of it is like half of this or something. Seems like it. So... From like... Here to over here should be like the same length as like from like there onwards. So I'll just draw like a bit of a finger here. I don't really know how to like simplify finger shapes, so I'm just going to do this and hope for the best. So that's kind of like half there. And then you have like another half here. So if you put another ball here. You have another finger here. Just make that taper a bit. It's a little bit twisted, but it's got the right spirit, I guess. Anyway, have you guys ever looked at like like a spider or something, and then you jumped, and then it jumped. That happened to me just as I got home before. It was like right next to my face, and it was like, I don't know what breed it was, but I saw it, and I like kind of jumped a bit. I didn't make any noise. I kind of just like eyes widened and stuff, and then like it jumped as well, and it just hid. <laughs> it was actually kind of cute. This should be like the same length as this here. Cool. Then we've got this middle finger here. It's kind of like that. All 
Alright, let's erase a bit of this, and that should pretty much do it for the hand. That changes it to brush. B is brush in Procreate, it seems like. In Procreate, it's like flipped around. So you end up with like B as. I don't know what B is, it's some sort of other brush, and then P is like the brush that is in Procreate. It's probably the smudge or something. Let me just erase some of this. Unfortunately, can't really do anything to change that, but there we go. Just leave it like that, and then let's see if I can actually manage to do the hands on this side. All right, whoops. I think the issue here is we don't really have knuckles here, so it looks a bit weird. If I add those, it might look a little bit better. But yeah, I'm not too sure how to do that. Hopefully I'm actually streaming. I'm not even really sure. I'm just talking to myself. Uh, and like my iPad, the screen is right here. And the iPad is just blocking like the OBS data. So I can't see. I have to like look over it. But that's okay. Yep, this could use with a proper touch up. So let's just say the hands would be around like the same length as the other side, so let's about that length, I'd say. And then you're looking from that side in. It'd kind of be like that, to be honest. And then you have the ball joints here. Or well, the manipula oh sorry, the um for the fingers. And then you'd have like the thumb here. So that would usually have like a bump, but I don't think you'd really be able to see that. Uh, she's wearing gloves anyway, so it shouldn't be too, like, too important, I guess. That would be like the front of the uh, hand, I guess. Whoops. I don't want that. What the heck is that? I want this one, and I want this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. That's gonna get rid of the sketch from before, but that's okay. We're just gonna use that as a reference anyways to make up this new sketch. Uh, actually, what I'll do is I'll just do that. Whoops, can't just go from there. Can I use the other hand as like a reference? I wonder. Not really, it's a different angle, but I think... 
If I look at this hand in a similar sort of pose, it might give you a better idea. So I think from the wrist, you kind of have this here. And then that would kind of come out a bit. Oh wait, it's a completely different direction, never mind. So you'd kind of have a little bit of... the thumb coming out here, like just a tiny bit. And then, okay, we can kind of keep that, that's okay. I'll keep it at like that for now, like just a wedge. And then I'll do this. I think there's still a bit too much of an angle there, so maybe just... Okay, that should be okay. And I'll just do this. There we go. I think that's looking a little bit better than I, what I had before. So on that vein, I can get rid of this too. And then let's just throw this in just to make sure like everything looks okay. And that will kind of be like this, I think. Let's move you back. Uh... Okay, that kind of looks a little bit like a hand. Or palm, I should say. So... Kind of got like the middle finger is kind of here. The middle of the index fingers there. And those other two fingers are here. Of course the in the pinky is a bit smaller. So let's just I don't know how to like represent this in 3D space, but I'll do something and hopefully my brain fills in the rest. There's one. There's two. There's three. And there's four. Cool. That's kind of like a rough estimate of where the knuckles are, I guess. Kind of looks like a cat's paw so far. And then, kind of got a bit of a bend here. Base of the wrist is about there. I'll put it around the same spot over there too, so I think like here. 
halfway point's kind of here, so the index finger would be like around here. Okay. Let's erase you. I think I'm doing a lot better than I was last time at the very least, which I'm pretty happy about. It's going to have a bit of tea. This is what it looks like. Um, it's not tilted or anything. Yeah, the camera's tilted. In my cute little mug. Excuse me. I forgot to mute. I think that's the first time I've ever done that. All right, uh, let's keep going. I'm actually really impressed with, oh wait, it's because Kimmy helped me with this. That's why it looks pretty neat. I'll just do this the way I was before, and hopefully it looks okay. Looking good so far, I guess. There's a bit of a bend here, which I'll get into in a little bit. Although I think I think if it's the angle that we're looking at. Man, she's got buff arms. Give me one sec. Let me just let me just look at this real quick. I can't see the screen by the way, so if anyone drops by. Hello. There we go. I think I'll need to make her hands a tad bigger. That is not a problem at all. Let's grab this. Whoa, hand just randomly shook just then, getting some tremors, that's okay. All right, let's make you a tad bigger. That looks around the same size. All right. Because the thumb from here would be flexing around the sword's hilt. That's why I've added that a little bit there. And I think the issue that I had here was I ended up like kind of moving her finger like this instead of like this. That's why it looks very off. So let me just draw like a, a line there. And the top of the finger here. Just erase this too. Whoa, that is the wrong size eraser. There we go. And cool. That should do really nicely.
There we go. So I'm actually currently working on, like, looking at things in a 3D space, so it's a bit of a struggle for me right now. I kind of sat down and was like, I'm going to study some hand anatomy, anatomy, anatomy. And then I sat down and I was like, I don't even know how to draw the basic shapes, and I can't even visualize them, so what, like, how do I even do this? And so I decided to just kind of take a step back and just start from square one and just learn how to like draw 3D shapes and such or not even shapes just draw proper lines with like you know confidence and stuff because the worst part I think is before I even put the line down I'm not even sure if it's going to work and if I'm doing that for every single line that you've seen here like yeah that's probably why it's taking so long to like make any progress at all. So yeah, that's just what I'm going to be doing in my free time. Hopefully I don't make her fingers too stubby. I think I did make them a bit too wide, so let's just fix that up. Okay. Cool. Just make sure they're like this roughly the same size. Okay, that's not quite right. God, for anyone who's like a fan of soundtracks, if you're never going to play FF14, you at least owe it to yourself to listen to the OST because it's, it's really good. And God, would I love to see like a live performance for the soundtrack one day. That would be absolutely amazing. And hopefully that will be sooner rather than later. Since um, it seems like things are starting... We're starting to see some normalcy around here, at least in Australia, regarding the pandemic stuff. So that's always good. All right. I think, um, yeah, the composition on this is not great, but that's okay. 
I wasn't setting out to win any awards anyways. I just want to... I just want to learn how to draw, really. Alright, let's do this middle finger. Cool. That actually turned out pretty well. And that should be about the same length as that, at least. Hey Richard, how are you? I'm doing well. Uh, thank you for asking. Welcome, welcome. Hope your night's been good so far. I uh, take it you were busy again today as well. You up to much for the rest of the night? It is busy, but I'm fine, thanks. That's good to hear, man. And yeah, busy isn't bad. It's when it's stressful. When it's too stressful, that's when it's bad. <laughs> good to hear you're doing all right, man. What did you have for dinner? Um, I just came back from dinner. Uh, met up with some friends and ate a triple beef, a triple patty uh, burger. It was pretty good. Um, I haven't had time to post it up because I don't really like um, doing like social media stuff while I'm out. But I'll post it up on my server soon. Gonna make a big bowl of soy sauce noodle tonight. That sounds really good. Soy sauce is amazing. A triple beef burger. Yeah, it was it was my favorite place here, and they've still got it. Um, also had buffalo wings there too, which was also just really good. Although, okay, so for this... The handle would kind of add some... Whoops. Make her grip a little bit, like, looser, I guess. It's been a while since I've uh, gone to that burger place. All of last week it was closed, unfortunately, but yeah, it was open this week. I thought it closed down and I was very scared. So yeah, it's been a long time coming. What are you up for the rest of the night? Uh, pretty much just this. Um, after I finish my streams, I usually go to sleep, so... Yeah, um, I make my Twitter post and then I just sleep. Because it actually is pretty late here. Uh, whenever I finish. Um, it's early, like, compared to the times that I used to stream till. But it generally, like, it's, it's pretty late. It's usually, like, 1am, so yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to be chilling here, drawing, and that's pretty much it. Man, I feel you, the fear of your best like to join it closing down. Yeah, I've had it happen before, and I didn't know it closed down. I went to a place with a couple of friends and got to an empty building. That was, uh, that was heartbreaking. And I guess a little trivia for me as well, uh, my favorite... 
like, I guess, cuisine, food, is uh, Mongolia barbecue. The one that they fry? They cook it on like a giant stone slab. I don't even know what to call it. It's like, it's huge. And yeah, it's just a mix of like veggies, sauces, and meat. It was really good stuff. And the last one closed down. So I won't be able to have that unless I make it myself, which I want to one day. That actually looks okay. Traditionally, they cook it on a huge, big metal hot plate. Yeah, pretty much seems like it. Like, huge is an understatement. This thing is like a meter, a meter wide. Really good stuff. I love it. There's a place near my place where it's a Mongolian barbecue buffet. Oh, yeah, this place was a buffet as well. And then, yeah, it just wasn't popular, so it closed down. And I'm looking on the monitor right now. Also, you probably have noticed it's a little bit laggy because I find the more, well, the hotter it is, the laggier it gets. So it is pretty warm here. Yeah, that sounds really good, man. I, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Try and make the most of it. I haven't been there for over 10 years. Okay. I mean, that's fair enough. It's not the healthiest thing, I'll say that much. And then let's fix this up. Make it a bit thinner too. Because I tend to just go something even more unhealthy when given the chance. That's that's fair enough. Nothing wrong with uh, some variety. Nice POV today, thank you. Uh, hopefully it's not too jarring. This guy, like waving around your face might be a bit weird. I know some people do get uncomfortable because that's kind of considered visual ASMR. I'm hoping when, um, I actually ordered a keyboard tray here for this desk. So this, this spot over here is gonna be free. And then I'll move my like drawing tablet and everything over to there. And I'll have more space there. So hopefully I can get like a proper like top down view. And you can actually see where I'm drawing because my hand just covers everything. It's actually quite interesting when you're waving the pen. <laughs> yeah. So there are two like big types of ASMR. It's auditory ASMR and visual. Um, visual is very much a thing when like it's a uh, point of view and like you know people like reach to you and stuff 
And yeah, like that feeling can make some people very uncomfortable. So I want to try to avoid that. And yeah, auditory is like the, all those frisian, it's called frisian apparently, triggers where you like listen to something and you kind of feel like relaxed. You kind of get tingles, I guess, but like, yeah, it's not as like insane as some people mention or some people make it look, but yeah, it is very relaxing. That's what how I would describe it. No, that finger looks really weird. This side looks okay, this side does not. But it's just a sketch anyways. But yeah, one day I will, I'll bring like the, the binaural mic back and yeah. I was very happy with how the, uh, the pen sounded when I recorded it. It was, um, really good. And I had like a decent chunk of time where. I did use the mic, and yeah, it it was really good. I really enjoyed that. Let's see if I can do this. I think I'll just, um, now that I've got a lot of, well, uh, some of the stuff out of the way that I wanted to do, I think I'll work on making the stream look a little bit nicer as well. Um, honestly, with the drawing, like this scene that we're looking at right now, I don't think there's too much to add in. Maybe just a icon for when I'm muted, like uh, the the gaming scene and I'll probably just add a time zone to the top right there so you, you guys know what time it is or what time zone and I'll probably put it in like UTC but yeah otherwise the only thing I can really think of is just having a like mocking up a an iPad Pro in Inkscape like a vector just so it's not, you're just not looking at like a, how do I do this? Uh, over there, you're not just looking at like a, a rectangle screen. Many things to do, many possibilities. Yeah. Honestly, I can sit, sit here and think of like possible things to do all day, but yeah. Usually my advice for that is just do it first and then see if it works or not. And I think this is a little bit too close, not close to the edge enough. So I'm just going to move this over.
And this, I think, should come out a little bit more. So I'm just going to grab that and pull it out. Like that. Should make it look a bit more normal. All right. That's the palm there. I guess we all need to find out what's working best for us in terms of plan. Yeah, pretty much. You can only plan so much. Sometimes it's better just to actually do something rather than just sit there and not do anything. Plans are there to guide us after all. They're not there to like dictate. It helps to know what to plan for and sometimes the only way to know what to, you're planning for is yeah just testing the waters okay those are like knuckles Also, I've bought Metroid Zero Mission and Fusion on Wii U, so I'm hoping I can play that soon on stream. And I can finally get around to Dread. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, that's, that's why we have testing. And yeah, uh, next week's schedule, I will have the uh, one year celebration updated at the very least, because I have decided on a date. I'll just wait for that. Um, I'll just wait for next week to formally announce it. All right, so looking forward to it. Thank you. I I hope it's a lot of fun. Who knows, maybe I will get angry at Jump King. There we go. <laughs> Jump King. Yeah, so the uh the one year celebration I'm planning to just do an endurance stream and I'll just keep playing until I finish Jump King. I'll put aside that whole weekend for it. And if I don't make it by like, I don't know, the 48 hour mark, then I'll probably either pass out or I'll just, yeah, I'll admit defeat and say the game is too much for me. <laughs> it honestly looks like a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. 
I'm just going to grab this and do a little bit of a rotation like that. And yeah, I'm hoping to play um, after I've finished all the AAA titles that I want to finish. So like Mass Effect has been something I wanted to play for a very long time. Um, Hollow Knight kind of just jumped onto my radar and I ended up really enjoying it. Uh, I really want to play Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, Sekiro... I'm sure there are other like AAA titles that I have, but I haven't really gotten around to. I don't know if I want to finish um, Mankind Divided Deus Ex. Because I've heard it's unfinished, story-wise, so I don't want to be left wanting for more. But that's a game that I really wanted to play since release, and I never really got to it. And yeah, the Metroid games. Uh, Undertale is another one I want to play. Uh, Earthbound as well. So Mother and Mother 2. Or Earthbound Beginnings. And then Earthbound. Uh, what else is there? And also welcome AFK. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. How's your night been so far? Okay. I'm just struggling with hands, as you can see. I do have some confidence, though, with how I draw lines. And when I say some, I mean like a minuscule amount. I still can't draw circles. That's good enough. It does feel that way, sadly, the Deus Ex game. Yeah. And they've done nothing on the franchise, which is really unfortunate because I really, I really love those kind of games. I absolutely adored um, Human Revolution. How's your day been? Oh, just been on Lost, Lost Ark. Very nice. Day's been pretty good. I had a triple beef burger earlier. It was just uh, triple beef, triple cheese, bacon. And buns, that was it. And some pickles. It was fantastic. Favorite burger place, and I haven't been there for a very long time. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'd say my day has been pretty good. I got some um, stream work out of the way too, which I'm pretty happy about. So I can put uh, more of my attention on like the emotes and stuff. And just general channel stuff. And yeah, hope you... Well, what are you up to for the rest of the night? They just let the franchise sink. Yeah. It's a real shame because it's such a... Such a nice premises. Premises. Like, it is pretty much what I want Cyberpunk to be. I haven't played Cyberpunk. I do really want to play it at some point. Like, bugs and stuff aside. Like, I want to... That's the game that I actually just want to play, even if everyone says it's bad. But yeah, just... It hasn't been, like, on a good sale yet. Okay, that actually looks decent. I'm happy with that. 
I can change like the hand pose as I go, but in general that looks... Yeah, can't really complain about that to be honest. It more or less matches the... Um, how the material looks. I can move the sword a little bit down. That looks good, thank you. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not very good with hands, but... I'm doing my best with the hand I've been dealt. I'm sorry about that pun. It was totally intentional. So... So like that. Cool. And then for this side here. It's just... I'll have to like do this. pretty much stayed the same anyway and then I've I'll just make the chain kind of like roll off her, roll off her arm there that chain is going to be absolute hell to draw but I'm ready it's going to be nothing compared to this I spent I'm really happy with how that looks I spent a lot of time on that <laughs> and it doesn't look like too out of proportion or anything. Oh my god, then I've got the feet after this. That's also going to be hell on earth. But, that's okay. I chose this lifestyle. Let's make this like... Hell, let's just make this another color. For weapons, how about we go with... Uh, set this as default. There we go. I'll make the weapons green or something. Let's grab this and alpha lock that and then I can just... Uh, wait, it's this, fill layer, and then I can destroy everyone's eye, uh, eyes with this. Dinner time, we'll be back later, no worries man, hope you enjoy your noodles. Take it easy and uh, thank you for stop stopping by. Enjoy your meal. No worries, man. Hmm. Man, one thing I really remember from Kendo is just most of your power comes from your left hand, not your right hand. 
the right hand's just there to guide the sword down. I honestly thought it was the other way around. But yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna... God, I don't want to look at that again. That was a very long period of time. Alrighty. Okay, I think that should work. I kind of wanted this to be like in line with the forum a bit more, but I guess it's more in line with this, which I guess kind of works. I'm actually okay with that. And for this, I think we just have to kind of make it taper a bit more. So I'll take a bit of it off and just shrink it or something. I'll do that afterwards. Let's just finish off this hand. Grab the pink. Okay, the phalanges. And you've got the more phalanges.
And then you've got, whoops. <sighs> then more phalanges here. I think this should come out a little bit more. I am in the right layer, thank goodness. All right. I think I'll just draw it in, and if it looks weird, then I'll just fix it up. Okay. I think I need to beef up that withered up hand a little bit more. Let's make that finger bigger. I've still got the guides there, which should help. And I'm warmed up now too, so hopefully it looks like a little bit better. Alright, let's do this. There we go. All right.
All right, and that's kind of a finger. I think it should be a little bit shorter. Just shave that down a tad. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a sip of water too. Be right back. And I'm back, and hello, Chicken Scratch. You call this Chicken Scratch homework? All right. Another thing I need to draw is the face as well. I actually don't know how I'm going to draw this. I guess I'll find out when I get there. I've got to draw this flower too. I'm going to fix this up too. All right, I guess I'll try and draw the hands then. Gloves outline. I'll start with this hand since it looks a little bit easier. Let's grab my trusty little not black marker and ink this in. I think I might wrap up the stream in another half an hour too, just because um, I kind of want to play some games. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm fairly happy with the progress I've made so far. So let's just adjust this. I'm also getting really sweaty because it's really hot. And I need to open the door <laughs> to let some of that air out. God, I... I'm worried there might be like a spider that just crawls into bed with me. All right, I've drawn the knuckles there. They look okay, but are they actually okay? Guess we'll find out. Uh, maybe for this, I'll just re-ink this in at the very least. So I've got something to work on. Or work off of, I should say. I think there's a cat outside too, so I might pay him a visit after the stream as well. 
This cuz is very cute. Okay. And just do this so I don't, I'm just doing this so I don't get lost later. There we go. Let's do that. And... I think that should do for like a guideline at the very least. So now I can just go ahead and make this more transparent so I can draw hands, or the outline for the hands, I should say. Put that, I'll go ahead and put that at 25%. And I'll grab my not black brush. I don't even know what value this is, but it doesn't matter. And let's draw in some hands on the correct layer. There we go. One there, or we'll knuckle there. And then All right. Let's not zoom in too much because I don't really need 
to be that close to see everything, so. I've got higher pixel density for a reason. All right, <laughs> the nail is kind of like halfway, but she's wearing gloves, so it shouldn't really matter too much. Okay, and that's the bottom of that. There we go. Hmm. Maybe I'll just, I won't do that. Okay. All right, so this part here, you'd have two creases kind of going like that. And that deserves to be on this layer. So, yep, let's just make that a little bit dark. Actually, you know what? I'll draw it in first.
Excuse me. All right. There we go. I think what I should do here is make this knuckle a little bit smaller. And I think I should make this a little bit more bent. Let's get rid of that. Well, if I did it once, I can do it again. I shouldn't be too afraid to get rid of mistakes. But first, I do need that outline here. Kind of give me an idea of Or not. How to draw this, I guess. Let's get rid of that. It's going to do a bit of a stretch and it's getting a bit sore so there we go.
Hmm. Here we go. Hey, welcome back. How's your dinner? Quite good Fr uh, fried belt noodle long to slim, cook up some fried chicken. Nice, that sounds really good. I was drawing so far. I am having a bit of trouble, but getting somewhere at the very least. It's doing okay. Thank you for asking. Honestly, just I'm pretty happy just <laughs> sitting here and doing this until it works. Hoping I'll be able to get some study in soon so I can actually draw this with a bit more confidence. And this one should be some weird squeaking noise. <laughs> I'll probably uh, finish up soon. I might just play some games before I sleep. I do want to play some Lost Ark to be honest. That sounds like a good plan. Cheers. I'll probably just get rid of this. It looks good, but it looks a bit too stiff. And I think it's thanks to like the wireframe I've got below it. So hoping I'll be able to do something, make it look a little bit less. How has Lost Ark been? I haven't really played it since uh, last time we played together. So yeah. Well, I haven't really played anything besides Mass Effect since last time. Uh, how's it going for you? Have you hit the really crappy enhancing part yet? Tier 2 at the moment, I'm level 980, nice. It's funny how the uh, the dungeons don't scale, so you can actually power level your friends. God, Etrian Odyssey's soundtrack is always so good. 
the reason why I put them in this playlist is because, like, yeah, the game is meant made for you to pretty much dungeon crawl for hours. So yeah, naturally it has very good music. I really need to get Nexus at some point before we can't get it anymore from the eShop. Crappy item leveling that I passed 5 hour 6 at 40%. I don't know what that means, but yes, I guess. She's kind of got man hands, but that's fine. It's kind of. I think I made the mistake. Oop. I think I made the mistake of um, looking at my hand too much. Okay, it looks a little bit better. This is a game I want to play on in Japanese as well on stream. Brave Fence of Musashi. It's so good. 
I wonder if it will stand the test of time though. Or if it's just a, a fond memory. I guess I'll find out. A game that I want to see if much was changed in the uh, the English dub or the English localization. <laughs> Kachi Kachi Kun, very cute. All right. Oh yeah, by the way, Richard, I did buy some chocolates. <laughs> I just haven't posted them yet, but I have, oh God, I like devoured one yesterday, like a whole block. I'll grab them real quick. So I had an entire block like this, and I finished it in half an hour, so yeah, that was kind of bad of me. That one was black for us. We've got some lint. Just standard stuff, I guess. And then we've got the standard caramel as well. And we've got triple choc cookie Kit Kats, which I've eaten half of. And this one, I'm actually not sure what to expect and kind of looking forward to it. Lifesaver chocolate. So the, um, that hard candy, <laughs> I don't know. I didn't, I don't know when they started making this, but I saw it and I was like, huh, may as well try it. So yeah, that's my stash. Yeah, may as well try them all. Looking forward to that one, at the very least.
So I'll just go B. And let's erase this. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Yeah, I really like chocolate. Um, I rarely buy like other snacks unless it's like for a specific purpose. So for example, um, I buy gummy bears for like post gym and that's pretty much it. We all love chocolate. <laughs> oh, I've met some people who have who don't actually like chocolate and that's fair enough. Some people prefer candy over chocolate and yeah. but we eat candy coating with chocolate. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I will do that. Win-win. Okay, I'm just going to find a picture where I can see her gloves. There ain't very much. I'll say that much. Hmm. I'll see how leather gloves are stitched up. That should make it a bit easier to figure out. Because it looks like the gloves she's wearing are leather, so let's just... Put that over here. Okay, so just go back to this body sketch. I'll probably finish up the stream real soon. I'm getting really sweaty and it's really hot today for some reason. Of course it gets really hot the day after I buy chocolates. Um yeah, I'm just gonna like air out my room a bit. So this kind of like goes around there. So we've got like, I'm just going to draw like a guide here so I can see that. 
Let's do an ice cube bath. Oh my god, I'd love that to be honest. My body is so damn sore. I actually kept waking up in the middle of the night because I went like really, really hard with the deadlifts yesterday. <laughs> Not yesterday, two days before actually. And the doms only hit like while I was sleeping. Time to get a mini fridge for chocolate. Yeah, time to get that Marshall fridge. I think you showed me that on um, Amazon. It's like 900 bucks, but like, dude, a Marshall fridge. Yeah, I actually don't like putting chocolates in the fridge just because they get a bit weird. It gets really hard and cold and it's kind of hard to eat. So kind of like that. That's how the gloves will look, I think. Actually, no, it looks like it comes like down to here, the stitching. So let's revise that. There we go. I think I made her thumb a little bit too low. Let me just flip this. No, I think that looks okay. Mini fridge sounds good. Yeah, it does. A little bar fridge. My PC case actually looks like a a little fridge, but if only. Instead, it's just a hot box that blows out hot air. Okay, so we've got something with a really fancy cut over here. So we've got one strip for that. Like that. <laughs> we all need a mini fridge at some point in our life, absolutely. Like that. And that kind of goes like that. And then we'll have like Everything kind of just going around that. All right. Made in Italy if, in po if possible. Nice. Really want a mini fridge. Why Italy? Do they make really good fridges? Oh, uh, that's, that's an honest question. I don't really know. Okay, that hand looks more or less okay. 
I've got to do this one. I might do this one offline. Um, I'll just jump into like the Discord server and just draw, and anyone who wants to watch is welcome to join in. I've got voice chat disabled, so yeah. Don't worry about, you know, feeling like you have to join in or anything. You'll, you can just watch or share whatever's on your screen as well. But yeah, the fridge they make looks dapper. <laughs> okay, I'll have to look this up. Okay, let's have a look. I probably won't raid today, just because I um, don't really feel like raiding, to be honest. Uh, tonight, at least. Maybe I'll do so tomorrow. Let's just... Uh, what are these fridges made in Italy? Okay, so I think this should look okay. Hey, there we go. Whoops. I actually dropped that out of my space bar. Okay. That looks expensive. Oh, well, there's nothing in, like... Upright sexy bar fridge. Skinny glass door. Looks like something you'd find in, like, a restaurant. This guy's looking very happy about his fridge. They do look pretty nice. They remind me of like the, um, God, it's such a bad brand, a uh, brand name, but the Smeg, <laughs> the Smeg, uh, utilities. Let me see if I can. Like they look very similar to like these Smeg ones in design. And yeah, it would be nice if you can have one of those at home. I agree. Yeah, these look really cute. I don't know if they're actually reliable or not, but yeah. <laughs> I was about to say Smeg is a nice choice. Yeah, they look... I don't know. I, don't, I honestly don't know if they're good, but yeah. They look cute at the very least. See the Marshall Bar fridge, this is what I'm looking at. It looks like a guitar amp, but it's actually just a bar fridge. <laughs> nice. There we go. They're pretty pricey, but... As you can see here, around $500. Actually, that's not that pricey. Compared to the other ones. Bye, bye, bye. Nah, I don't think so. I've got some important thing, more important things to spend money on at the very least. Like a triple monitor stand, so I can actually have three monitors and also have my laptop here too. <laughs> All right, uh, I think I will end the stream there. So yeah, thank you guys for stopping by and having a chat. Hope you all have a lovely night, and if you're at the other side of the world, I hope you have a fantastic day.
Uh, take care of yourselves, and I guess I'll see you at tomorrow's Massive X stream, maybe? Tomorrow? <laughs> take it easy, everyone. Oh. Hello. Samir Kandia, and I just got here. Well, we are looking at fridges right now, so... Let me just turn back to here. <laughs> Cute Kaine, thank you. I put extra detail in the face. How are you doing? I guess um, let's have a little chat before I, I finish up here. Thank you so much for following, really appreciate it. Um, um, are you okay? And I am an aspiring artist. I do some mostly art streams and I do a couple of gaming streams here and there too. Uh, right now I'm playing Mass Effect 2 and currently I'm drawing Kaine, who is my favorite character from Neo, which was a game I finished on stream. <laughs> anyway, uh, do I call you Samir or Sammy? I'm not too sure how how it's pronounced. I apologize. Sam is fine. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you so much for the follow, Sam. I apologize for the uh, the abrupt ending, and yeah, thank you for stopping by. And yeah, again, I hope you all have a lovely night. And if you're in a different time zone, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care of yourselves. And yeah, tomorrow is Mass Effect 2. <laughs> Thank you. You too. All right. See you guys.